live on Six Music, Letitia Sadier and une autre attente. Two more numbers, two more live numbers on the way uh, in the next sort of 20 minutes or so, either side of the news. And uh, that is taken from the latest LP, Rooting for Love, which came out earlier this year. And I understand the making of the record, the start point in 2018 was a hot summer and you were driving in a very hot car uh, <laughs> around France. And then were you listening to the radio and some ideas came to you? What happened? Yes, I was listening to a, a, a programme on um, on the national French radio uh, France Musique, mm -hmm. and they were talking. It was a whole program about the minimalist, uh, and uh, so the um, both West Coast and East Coast, uh, Terry O'Reilly and all that, uh, Philip Glass, and I thought, ah, oh, genius, 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 and um, I basically rediscovered then what I've always done and um, rediscover the source of my inspiration, which is based in minimalism and in jazz chords. But all I need is one, one jazz chord and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so it was quite funny to, to go, oh, may we like the epiphany. And then, uh, and then you're like, no, wait, hold on a minute. That's what you've always been doing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was quite um, a funny moment. And um, yes, this album took a, uh, a few years to to put together and I mean I'm in no rush to to make these these albums so uh, and you know indeed there was a the big breach of um, everybody in being locked up and and all that sort of thing so um, yeah and and Sterilab happened to also go back on the road and reform so yes there was no rush and um yes and then one day it was born and one day this year in february and yeah. i thought oh okay here it is um i just wonder about that that moment when ideas occur to you or maybe uh as you say chords and maybe ideas for loops and maybe ideas for lyrics as well what you do about storing them and making sure you remember them yeah i could i collect uh a lot of, I mean, on not that I want to promote uh, Apple, but uh, I, on on photo booth, I throw a lot of of ideas of chords, as and when they arrive, uh, like chord sequences, and because I'm not like trained, so so things just arrive <laughs> magically, and um, same with lyrics. And actually, this song we just heard is a, is a cut up lyric, so. Um, and it's it's basically around the theme of love, but these things you actually realize later, particularly when you use the cut up technique it's it's more the subconscious that is talking and um in in this case it's i I recently discovered the the kind of core of the song is about it's about love haha uh -huh. and um and how it's a state it's kind of a natural state. That w that we all vibrate, so to speak, and that we kind of we are we've been removed from that, and 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 the idea is to come back, is to return to that state. That seems like it's a theme in the record as well. I, I, I hesitate to call it a call to arms when you're talking about love, but it, that, there's that feel about uh, definitely one of the dominant themes of of the record as a whole. Is, is trying to get back to it. Yes, I mean that's exactly how I view it. It's a it's a proper propaganda piece, and um, to to counteract the the narratives, the very highly toxic narratives out there that are continuing on, like and they're being flamed every day. I see how you know indeed there are there are some people who are very enraged and rightfully so, but. Um, you know the what happened in is it Southport? You know, and it's like people calling me from France. Oh my God! You know, are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm okay. It's like actually, I find, you know, I went to to the peace marches yesterday, and there was no there was no problem at all. And uh, but I went into the Brixton market to buy some lemons, mm -hmm. and the the man who sold me that oh, there's going to be trouble. There's going to be trouble. It's like. Wow, what's going on? Are the fascists at, the, at our doors? Like, no, but they're up there. And that's the small demo I came from that was so peaceful. So, you know, and he was really ready to, you know, to. So, yeah, all the, all the flames, you know, of hell are being fanned. And, and 
and I, and I thought, no, we need to have a counter narrative to this fear. Because when you're in fear, you can't think properly. Your, your whole frontal lobe is, is, is paralyzed. And all you can think from is your, you know, the core brain, which is more about survival. And, uh, and that can give indeed some, some real tangible tragedies, you know, into, into our cities, on our streets, etc. So, so indeed, it's a call for two arms, <laughs> in a way. Um, there is some kind of a battle here that needs to be fought, but it needs to be fought with love. And I was so happy that at the march, um, the little demo that took, well, it wasn't that little, at uh, the Reform HQ mm. uh, on Victoria Street. Uh, there was lots of um, people with hearts and, you know, and, and promoting love as, as a force to counteract the fear. You mentioned the recording process took a while and it also took quite a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of people on this record. There's a lot of collaborations, a lot of people take part. Um, and then there comes the point where you come to play play it live and obviously you can't take everybody to the live situation. So you're here on your own. Was it daunting to take this record and prepare it for, for live performance? Yes, absolutely. Um, also, it meant that I had to master a, a new piece of equipment, a sampler, and I didn't even know what samplers did so this really. So this is the Roland... SP404. Tell us a bit. Of, it looks. It, it sounds amazing. It looks amazing. And is, it, it's a good box of tricks. Yeah. Yes, it's fantastic. And it's actually a really creative instrument where, whereby, as I said, I knew nothing about samplers. And then, but it took me a while to, to, because there's no, for instance, there's no play button and there's no stop button. Oh. Sorry, call me old school. <laughs> but I need a, a play and a stop. There's none of that. You know, it's like, ooh, this is passe. But uh, I had a, um, a young man who helped me with this and see it through, and, and I, I barely scratched the surface of it. But I, I, I know at some point I started going to bed and having cre thinking creatively mm. alongside this machine. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, it's really super. It's a super machine, I love it. And it's got some really cool effects. And um, yeah, and... and um, next, I think from my next album, I want to do some beats on it. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do beats, and I've never kind of allowed myself this, you know, this dream. So yeah, next album, beats, and singing under bridges where there's a natural. Oh, the echo, reverb, the reverb. Ah, yeah. oh, it's a beautiful reverb. There. Well, that we look forward to that. But we'll, can we have another live tune from you now, please? Yes, like sure. So this this song is in French. Oh, they're they're both in French. I realize. So this song is um, "Penser l'inacceptable," "Penser" as in um, to heal the unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> 